Welcome to Tangling Along With Me. We are continuing on TanglePatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we're going to do. Let's open up the book and find a place for this one. Um, this is actually one of my favorite tangles. I really, really love this one because you can do it in so many different ways. Um, I am going to find a spot for this one before we start. Um, oops, I think we can... Um, I could pop it in here, but it's not that big a space. Um, but you would be able to see what I'm doing. So you can do this one in two or three or five different ways. So I'm just choosing my favorite one. Um, and that's kind of starting with a, a weird shape here in the middle and coloring that in. Like that. Then I am going to kind of start from that... Uh, um, spot we have there in the middle and I'm going all the way around till I uh, go over here and then I'm going in and placing a ladybug and coloring in this little ladybug black like this and I'm going back to my line that I left hanging right there and I'm continuing to aura around what I did all the way around here and I'm going to leave it to hang again. Pop in some more ladybugs. Across the line. And you just place them where you think that they will look good. Or where you like to have them. And then go back to your line. Continue auraing. all the way around and again stop and make your new ladybox there we go and then when I'm ready I go back to my line continue my way around and stop and again ladybox you can put in other kind of things here like orbs or mucus and stuff like that but that um, is a bit difficult so if you do not know this pattern yet then please um, work with it like this first and then you can always go in and make some fun with it so I'm going back to my line or rying all the way around and stopping and I'm gonna do this until I have filled out the whole space here And I'm getting uh, close to a line over here, to a string line. Going back to my line and continuing. Round and round and round we go. You could go in, as I said, with orbs. I like to put a big one and then two small when I'm going in with orbs. Let's do it over here as well. So a big one and two small one and I see the old string line here. I just want to get rid of that one. And then back to my line. And if you need to turn your book around, please do so. It's actually important that you do. Because um, that will help you to rest in your uh, hand and your wrist. 
I'm going back to my ladybugs. Um, yeah, turn your book as much as you need. Uh, personally, I like to do this one when my book is just lying like this. Um, but you might need to turn it around even more. And again, remember if you hit a line, lift your pen. So I have my string line here. It can be hard to see that right now, but it's there. And a big one here. And the size of these ladybugs, you can do that just how you want to. That's a neat thing about this pattern here. So I'm going around and then I'm touching my string line here. I think I can just see it there and then go on here. And I am hitting this tangle over here so I'm just going to Um, skip that one. Pop in a ladybug right here. And then end there. So I have some more space here. So I'm going to go in on this top piece here and just make a few ladybugs where I want them. Now I'm going to turn my book. And then I'm going to aura this line here until I hit the um, string line popping in a ladybug orring popping in a half ladybug orring you can leave even one of these without anything then a ladybug here Like that. Then I will go to the corner down here. Pop in some ladybugs. Color them black. Placing them exactly where I feel like I need them where I want them, starting at my string line and then again auroring all the way around. I can just have that line there. I think here I am going to make as if I have some of the orbs. Auroring and ending by my string line. And again auroring. And now I'm going over here and popping in ladybug maybe a few orbs like that orring as if it's kind of growing out um, of the room that we made for it another little ladybug here maybe one here following the string line and orang. Well, I think you get what we're doing here now, so let's just get this done. Again, just relax in your hand. Remember to breathe and enjoy each of your strokes.
There you go. So that's one way to draw this tangle. I actually think this is so fun. Um, shading this one is a bit different. I like to make a little light um, point here with my white graphite. Then I am going in with my Oh, that was my white charcoal, not graphite. Going in with my graphite and finding a maybe a little road here between some of these shapes and then just darken that up as if it's um kind of folded right there. Uh, you don't need to do this if you don't want to, but that's one way to do it. You can also um, pillow it out if you want to. Um, that's a good part about this tangle. You can actually do it just like you want to. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I think that turned out pretty neat. So that's the pattern, this one right here. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.